rhythm chart part two why because my card was full and it died yesterday so um let's close that okay so i think i went over all of these guys the names of them or i was somewhere around here i'm just going to do a really brief recap uh, if you click the answer tab on the site, you'll basically get everything that I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, this side, um, these big waves, you write in the name of the note. So whole note, half note, quarter, eighth, sixteenth note, dotted half note, dotted quarter, triplet. Okay? Name of the rests. That's a whole rest, half rest, quarter rest, eighth rest, sixteenth rest. Beat value. Uh, four counts, two counts, one count, uh, eighth. You write half. Half or and then a fourth quarter. Uh, for beat value for this one, it could be three or four because if you're dealing with three, four, like time signature, and you, you want a rest for that whole time, you just put that one and it, it counts also. I mean, you could do the uh, dotted half, but you'll probably see that one because it counts as just a whole rest for the whole measure. Um, okay, let's go. Okay, in this section, you make up your own rhythm, so once you've explained how all this works, the, the kids actually really like doing this, you know, they make it up. It could be 2, 4, 4, 4, 3, 4, uh, 6, 8, and then they just write in their little notes and measures and, you know, plug it in and make their own rhythms. Uh, okay, so that, uh, I'll, go, I'll get to this last. So, names of the notes, I'm sure you guys know. Beat value, how much it's worth, 4 counts for a whole note, 2 counts, 1 count, half, right, quarter, 3 counts, 1 and a half, and triple it. I, I actually just write... Um, it's, it's one, it's worth one beat, right? So one, your syllable, I use ta, ti, ti. Um, I don't know what else you, or one, you can do one, one and, two and, however, so this would be one, two, three, four, one, two, but I like doing ta, ti, ti, I think it helps the kids. So ta, a, 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 ta, a, ta, ti, ti, uh, 60, ti, 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 or tiki, tiki, I've heard both of those, uh, or whatever you want to use. Ta a uh, a. Uh. This is one and a half. This is Thai, like Thai T. I was explaining that the little eighth note really is, always goes with this guy. You, it's rare to not find them together, so, well, especially for beginners and those guys. Um, and then here I write triple lit. Whenever I see a triple, I go triple lit one or one two triple lit four. You know, just triple it. It just works out well. Uh, that's what I use for triple lit. Maybe you guys have another suggestion. Um, and then choose your own words. This is especially because like I'll get four or five year olds or three year olds and to explain rhythm is really hard. So instead of having to count one, two, three, four, I, let's say we're dealing with quarter notes. Uh, I have them, let's say they have a piece, they have C, 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 and then um, a whole note. So C, 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 and then a whole C, right? One, two, three, four. I choose a word that has one syllable. So dog or cat, I pick an animal that has one syllable, bird, dog, cat, you know, fish. Uh, so right here you'd write dog or cat and then let's say they have the whole note so you use a sentence so four words because a whole note is four quarter notes right so like I like ice cream I like hot dogs so you would have cat 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 I love ice cream that makes sense or you do Harry Potter too but that I don't want to get technical right now but Harry Potter Harry is one word and has two syllables I was really I just need four quarter note words, if that makes sense. Uh, I mean, use this how you want to, you know, there's no like super strict rules, but that's how I do it. Uh, triplets, I do like s strawberry, strawberry, blueberry, all these berries work well. Strawberry, blueberry, blackberry, raspberry. Uh, I'll get to that one. Uh, eighth notes, I use like pizza, uh, a word that has two syllables, Harry, Potter, see that works well. Um, Eighth, the 16th notes, I use a word that has four syllables, like alligator, crocodile, right? And then um, for this guy, the dotted quarter, I always thought that was the hardest to explain. Uh, let's take watermelon. You could, you could use watermelon, too, for the 16th notes. So watermelon, that's one word, right? It makes one beat. The three first, watermelon, tai t, right? Watermelon. So let's say they have a dotted quarter followed by an eighth. So I'll go like watermelon. Right, and then so I'll have them write water, mel, and then lun is in parentheses, that last beat that doesn't, that doesn't make up that, it doesn't come into that time, but it's attached properly. Does that make any sense? <laughs> um, 
Anyway, so that's how, but, I just, it's fun for them. Maybe you don't even want to use that column, up to you. I just try to find ways to help kids with rhythm and make it make sense and make it fun. Um, okay, I think, I think that's it for rhythm chart. Rhythm chart! Okay, welcome to page eight. Um, so, page eight, rhythm chart. What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to write in the name of the type of note that's here, the beat value, so how much it's worth, syllable, I don't know if you guys use like ta, t, t, or um, in some books they, for like quarter notes they say walk, walk, walk in eighth notes they say running, running, running. Um, but uh, so I use ta, t, t, tai, ta, all those guys. And then I have a little space for choose your own words. So um, I'll go. I'll give you guys some examples of what I use. Um, and then on the bottom, you've got rest, so the name of the rest and the value. And then here, the, the kids can make up their own rhythm. So uh, here, name, whole note, beat value, four counts, so four, syllable, ta. Let's see what I do for um, those. And then choose your own words. Uh, so what I do is I, I use um, a sentence of four words, like, I like ice cream, or I like hot dogs, you know? That way, if, when they get to the quarter, or the whole note, they'll go, no, 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 I like hot dogs, so they hold it for four count, uh, uh, right? Okay, half note. Half note, beat value two, syllable, ta, ha. Uh, choose your own words, so then I use, like, two, like, ice cream, or hot dog, or what else can we use? Uh... Can't do pizza because pizza is one word and has two syllables. You want to you want to find words that one syllable words, right? But you want two of them together. Um, okay, I think you guys got it. Uh, quarter note, quarter note, beat value one, syllable ta. Choose your own words. So dog, cat. So especially when you have like three, four, five year olds and you're trying to teach them rhythm instead of having them count one, two. Oh, it's not gonna work. Um, I let's say that you've got like four C's, C C C C. And then a half note, so you'd go like dog, 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 um, and then ice cream or something, you know? Makes sense? Or a whole note, then you go, I like ice cream. Dog, 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 I like ice cream. Okay, eighth notes, eighth note, beat value half, you write half. Um, syllable T, I usually do TT, telling them that. Often you'll find eighth notes together, grouped together. Uh, so then, for example, choose your own words, pizza. Pizza, because it goes fast. Let's see, what else? What's another two-syllable word? Yummy, yummy, gummy, Yeah. So let's say you have two eighth notes and then a quarter note. Gummy bears, yeah. Okay, sixteenth note, a sixteenth or a quarter, right, quarter. Uh, syllable, 